Thinking about purchasing iPhone 7 in 2018? Well, hold up. They got the video for you. Should you buy iPhone 7 here in 2018? That video is coming up right now. Let's go. Specs refresh of the iPhone 7, A10 CPU, that's 40% faster than the A9, 2 gigabytes of RAM, 12 megapixel 4K camera with a 7 megapixel on the front, and this has water resistance IP67, and it has iOS 11 upgradable to iOS 12. Now, I want to talk a little bit about the hardware experience. This phone has that classic iPhone 6 look, which a lot of people thought Apple should have redesigned it when they came over to the 7, and you know, some people didn't like it. but. I kind of like that this phone tweaked some of the design points that I didn't like too much on the 6 and 6S, which were the antenna lines, which I think look cleaner here. The camera looks a little bit better on this phone. And I think overall, it's just a more refined, polished version of the 6, and it feels quite sturdy. Although, you will be missing your headphone jack if you do decide to come from an earlier model. So keep that in mind coming into 2018. Now, in terms of that display, let's begin with the brightness. Plenty bright in almost all conditions. Even in sunlight, I could still see this device now it is sharp enough at 326 pixels per inch never had a really an issue reading text on here because of how well the colors and calibration are with this p3 lcd so on the whole i think while it's not gonna stand out in stores because it's oled and it's shiny in the store practical day-to-day -day use it gets the job done ios 11.2.2 is on board that's the latest software that you can get from apple you know it might be different by the time you're watching this video software on the whole it's been getting better when ios 11 first dropped on the 7 it had some twitches 3d touch was slow there was some issues but coming in 2018 you know we have 11.2.2 now and it's starting to speed up it's not too bad um you know it's still a fast phone a10 keeps it humming along just fine now the battery on the other hand has been a complaint for a lot of people for me however using an iphone 7 on the day to day it gets through the day no issue so if you do want to use an iphone 7 for battery life and you think it's going to be a problem it's not going to be a problem too much but if it is it is eligible for the battery replacement for 29 from apple now sheer performance of this phone has stayed pretty strong ever since its launch day when i first tried this phone out the silver model you've seen in that video in this video it's been pretty fast multitasking is smooth no glitching no hanging you're gonna have a great experience even here now on the iphone 7. now let's talk a little bit more about the battery on the whole when it comes to just its overall capacity how it holds up on the whole and i get about you know five hours of on-screen time sometimes a little bit more you can see i'm already down to 87 with an hour and 30 so that that pans out just fine turn on the low power mode though and the iphone 7 can go the distance and that's what i really liked about the iphone 7 is that it's a small phone but it can still get me through most of my day if not the entire day now another thing i really enjoy about this phone is its portability factor you know the iphone 8 is the current one hand iphone i feel and i'm not talking about the thumb phone the iphone SE. i'm talking about the one hand phone that gives you a large screen but you can still use it with one hand to me the iphone 7 fits that category it fits in all pockets nice and lightly and portably but still gives you a large enough screen in addition to that it's pretty featherweight which is nice because you're going to have no hand cramping or none of that using this for extended periods of time now you're looking at a 12 megapixel eyesight 4k camera with improved optics this is basically marketing speak eyesight camera from apple saying you have a better improved camera over the prior editions now the front camera i didn't find to be that much different from iphone 6s even though it's a 7 megapixel bump over 5 megapixel Who's really taking a photo on their iPhone and blowing it up and put it on the wall? I don't know who. But you do get the classic software here from iPhone, which I tend to really like. I really like shooting with the iPhone's software. Now, in terms of the picture quality, you're going to get almost identical quality to an iPhone 10. I'm being honest with you. If you do go ahead and use a portrait mode, then you're going to notice the 10 is better. If you want a little more contrast, you'll notice the 10 is better. The 8 plus, the 8. But this phone gives you great video modes, all that you would ever need. Most people are not shooting in 4K60 or uploading in 4K60. So those newer phones don't sweat it 4k 30 is enough still for a phone the sensor sizes in the camera themselves are still not touching real cameras yet so getting an iphone 7 you're not going to have a bad camera experience at all you also can take pictures with the volume rocker up on this device making it a really fun shooter if you do remember to use that function now you do have the phone dialer here and the reason i'm showing this is because i want to talk about the call quality the call quality on this phone has been pretty exceptional including the fact that we do have speakers on top and bottom not having too many issues when it comes to reception or anything like that on a seven pretty good phone just for a phone if you care
scared at all and the speakers like i say sound good in audio when you're listening to music or anything like that it's a great dual speaker experience here for this device now gaming i got snoopy pop loaded up on here it's not the most graphically intensive game but many games will run and many games will run perfectly on an iphone 7. now i actually haven't found any game to actually stutter on this phone and that's great to see seeing as this phone is going on its second year now the best thing about buying an iphone 7 right now is that you're getting significantly reduced prices some of these you see are a little higher than i would like but if you go to swappa if you go to you know apple's refurbished section you're getting severe discounts over prior prices for this device so this device still represents a rock solid value i think when it comes to being around that 400 to 500 price point if you could find it some people might even sell you this thing for 350 if you find it on the street so this phone is still really good at that price point i think if you're getting around the 600 mark i would start to look at the iphone 8 because it's not too far off only 100 bucks off and you do get yourself wireless charging you get the newer cameras and stuff like that software can be improved but the iphone 7 i still recommend it in 2018